and Rust College, a small school in the small town of Holly Spring, Mississippi, which was relatively low key. Well, that's before Coach Jackson put Rust College on the map by winning conference championship and winning Coach of the Year with the dominating season. Today, I will be interviewing Jasmine Coleman, a two way shooting guard for Rust College from Granada, Arizona, alongside head coach Eric Jackson. They will be recapping the season and then talking about all the trials and tribulation they had to go through this year and what it takes to become a champion. So hold on up, lace up, and grab your drink and prepare yourself for this stone cold interview. I'm here with um, a student athlete. Introduce yourself. I'm Jasmine Coleman, and I'm from Ganado, Arizona. Okay. Um, before we start, I want to say congratulations on winning the conference championship and um, and the defense player of the year. Thank you. It's real big. It's real big. For someone that has been playing basketball like throughout my whole life, I have not won the championship. Uh, how does it feel to win a ring? Well, you know, it feels great. It's like all kinds of mixed emotions, you know, and when it happens and everything, but it feels great. Like, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, so, like, tell me what it, um, well, tell me what it means to be recognized for your defense, like defense player of the year. That's real big too, also. Yeah, you know, normally not everybody wants to play defense. You know, everybody wants yeah. to score the ball, and you have to want to play defense, really. And Coach EJ always stresses, like, um, you want to be on the court, play defense. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing he always stressed with, play defense, play defense. So I'm really, you know, it's actually really great just to. Right, yeah. And like, and winning the conference championship, like, you know, everybody can't do it. Like, um, what did you go through, like, your team go through, like, in practice to make it there? You know, everything, we went through practice and we went hard every day, you know, and we had a goal. We set the goal before the season even started that, we were going to be actually national champions. That was our goal. Yeah. You know, we kind of overlooked conference, but, you know, throughout the season, we always stress, you know, to be encouraging and to keep everybody up and, you know, just always do the little things. No one really, everybody always looks, you know, overlooks the little things. So. Yeah. Man, one thing I noticed about y'all, y'all beat teams bad. Like, y'all just beat them, y'all like blow them out. <laughs> like, um, it's like y'all ain't really, y'all made it look really easy. So, like, what was your biggest obstacle this season? You had to say. Ooh, let's see. Honestly, I be, I would probably have. To, I would like to say after our loss, after we yeah our first loss, it was kind of hard to. We had a little bump, you know, coming into practice and everything yeah. the next day, and we really didn't. We really didn't like realize how much of a toll it took on us and. So we had to really overcome, like, you know, it's okay. It's one loss, you know, it's it's fine. It will be all right. You know, it's better now than later, you know? Yeah. And then y'all took, took it out on the next team, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. And one thing I noticed about your team is, like, y'all got, like, real good chemistry, like, on and off the court. Like, um, you think that plays a big role in on the court, like, when you play? Yeah, it does. You know, like, honestly, we're s sisters. You know, with siblings, you know, kind of get tired of each other. Right. But it's honestly takes a big like toll on everything and we always told each other like whatever happens outside the court leave it off you know right. we can talk about it later you know so right so um for someone who want to be a lady bearcat um in the future what would you tell them like what to expect after this program 
uh, just to go hard. You know, you only get this once in a lifetime, and so why not give it your all? You know, and just have fun with it, really. Right. So, um, what's next for Jasmine Cole? Well, I'm actually gonna come back to be a student coach, you know, have Coach EJ and everything. And then after that, we'll, I plan to go overseas, so. Oh yeah, good luck to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, you heard it here first from Jasmine Coleman. She talks about defense and team bonding and all that other stuff is keys to winning a championship. But now that we talked to one of Russ College star players, I think it's best that we talk to Russ College head coach, Coach Jackson, and ask him uh, what it takes to be a champion. How y'all doing today? I'm with um, a college basketball coach from Russ College. Introduce yourself. How you doing? My name is uh, Coach Eric Jackson, head women's basketball coach at Russ College. How you yeah. guys doing out there? Man, first off, before we start, um, before we start the interview, I want to say congratulations on winning the conference championship. Uh, that's that. a big thing. Um, uh, this is not your first one, right? Did you won? Or is it? No, we won. Um, we won a regular season championship last year. Yeah. Um, and this year, we won the uh, regular season championship and the conference tournament championship. So. So how, how did this one feel like to win it? I know y'all want to win national, but Winning conference is a big thing too. Also, so how did yeah. this feel? Um, it was it was good. Um, you know, I just you know it's just a testament to the girls' hard work, um, the ability to sacrifice, and all that all that kind of stuff, man. Um, you know, like you said, we didn't get the goal that we wanted, yeah. but um, it's still a big feat for the school, um, and, and build up school morale and all that all that kind of stuff for us. So on that aspect, we're super grateful just to have the opportunity. Thanks. So like, what did it take to get there? Like hard work, like. What, what did it take for, like, practices and stuff like that? Like, what did it take to get there? Um, I would say just consistency would probably be the first word that comes to mind. Just coming in there and uh, doing the things that, that need to be done, especially on those days you don't feel like it, when you're tired, had a long day of classes and all those different types of things. So maybe you just had a game the day before, but you got to prep for the next game, so you're going to have that right. time to rest. Um, you know, and just kind of powering through that mental toughness. And then also just being consistent about, taking care of their bodies. You know, we're kind of real big on them about that, making sure they're using their recovery time, all those different types of things. And that kind of helps them uh, stay on track. And I, and I think that helped us a lot in the long run. Right. So like in basketball, like I know for myself, like the name of the game is like being more prepared than the other team. Mm -hmm. um, so like what sacrifices you had to make to like, um, I know you had to spend a lot of time into making sure your team is right. And you really don't have no time at home, like, you know, mm -hmm. take care of family, stuff like that. That a real big sacrifice too? Uh, yeah, for sure, man. For sure. That's why you got to have some really good people around you. Um, you know, my wife is, is super supportive of, you know, me being a coach and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, without her, a lot of this stuff wouldn't be possible. But, you know, she's so far behind the scenes, she doesn't get a lot of recognition. Yeah. Uh, but just allowing me to put the time in with them, you know, um, and then also she helps with that, too. Yeah. And I think that gives us opportunity to still, you know, spend time together. But it's definitely a sacrifice. And, you know, no coach does it on their own because they have that help and that, uh, that backbone from their family. Right, right. This blessing. Um, and another thing, like, what I see from y'all team is, like, y'all girls are like a family. Like, y'all got real good chemistry. Like, do you think that makes a big part of, um, in the game, like, y'all chemistry on and off the court? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I think that, um, you know, how you feel about somebody off the court uh, translates on the court um, just from, you know, being encouraging. Uh, like, if somebody makes a mistake, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't really care about that person, you don't care about them being upset or not. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I feel like, you know, you're more inclined to, you know, call out a screen because you don't want your teammate to get hurt by not seeing the screen right, you know, and stuff right. like that. Or you don't want your teammate to get scored on so you'll help defensive rotations a little quicker because yes. you generally care about that person. And so uh, we just talk about all those things and we're open and honest about it. And we kind of start that stuff at the beginning and we talk about what it takes to be a good teammate and all those types of things. And we actually have open conversations about that. Like, what do you do in these situations? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's something to think about. When we have those open conversations, um, you know, we kind of set a standard for ourselves. So that way it's no guesswork in terms right. of what you're supposed to do. Um, it's just a standard and we just meet that standard. Thanks. So like, um, one thing I told Jasmine, who I interviewed earlier, I said, y'all beat teams like real bad. Like y'all make it look, look easy. Like what's, what's the, um, what'd you say was like the most challenging part of this season? Right. Um, I would probably say just after winning a game by a large amount, still trying to find ways to get better, you right. know, um, because sometimes, you know, you look at the end result and you think that everything else up to that result was okay, but it's still some things when you get to that national championship game that if you don't fix and if you don't look and be super critical yourself to try to fix those things, then 
Um, when you get to a team that's really good and it's not going to be a blowout game, those things that you didn't work on start to show themselves. You know, and that's yeah. when those light, those that's when those losses and those weak points start to show themselves, and then you end up taking losses that way. Right. And um, like I seen like a few of your um, few seniors graduating or whatever. Mm -hmm. So like um, what are you looking to add this um, for next season? Like, what type of players are you looking for? Um, just some people who want who want to be a part of our culture. I feel like now, you know, being five years in, our culture is kind of already set. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, being a good teammate, um, being able to defend multiple positions. Um, but right now, I know we lost Shay Johnson as one of our yeah. uh, biggest leaders and point guards, um, and Jasmine Coleman as well. So we're looking for some returners to kind of step up in that leadership role. But we're look, definitely looking for some guards to kind of help. Uh, feel that point guard void that's there. Yeah, and I almost forgot you won Coach of the Year this year too. Like, <laughs> how did how did that feel like to be recognized? Uh, you know, I think you know, I think it's, that award is just a, a testament to the team. To be honest, man, it, I mean, it's it's cool, you know, and I love it, and I, and I think you know, I just I think it's a testament of the people around me. Uh, my team, my family, you know, my coaching staff, uh, because nobody does this thing by themselves <laughs> by no stretch of the imagination. Yeah. And I don't know a person that's gotten coach of the year without having a really, really good team. So I just think it's a testament to them, but it, it still feels pretty good. Yeah, man, congrats on that. Um, so like, what would you say for like a, a girl, a, another girl trying to be a lady Bearcat? Like, what would you say to them trying to enter your program? Um, just know that we're coming in with a winner's mindset, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, we're trying to win championships more than we chase stats. Right. You know, um, so and so that we're a type of team that's going to play, you know, 10, 11 girls. So you may not play a, a long time, but it's about what you do when you actually on the court. You know, right. and so you can have instead of having a big game, you can have a big part of the game. That can be the difference between us winning and losing the game. So right. instead of you playing 30 minutes, you might play 16. Instead of averaging 17, you might average seven. Yeah. You know, but at, at the end of the day, it all equals up to us trying to win games. All right. All right. So what's next? Um, uh, like, what's the goals for on uh, this season? Like, um, just just filling in the holes. I mean, we had a chance to get um to the national tournament to see what those teams look like, and we were fortunate enough to get a chance to play against the number one team in the country. Right. Um, and see what um what they have to offer, and so some things that we can kind of look at ourselves as a coaching staff and say, hey, we need to get better in these areas. You know, and this, and this recruiting season is the best time to try to fix those things. Right. Um, and also just also try to develop our returners to kind of fill those gaps as well. And I think that's uh, that's just the biggest thing for us right now. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm excited to see what, um, what happens next, man. I'm going to be tuned in, man. No Thanks doubt. for doing the interview, man. Well, you heard it from the man himself. To become a champion, it takes hard work and dedication and consistency. Not from one person, but from the whole organization. It would take people on the team like players, coaches, you know, and family members and other supporters, and even the fans. They really needed everyone in this season. So for all my future Lady Bearcats, if you're trying to get in that organization, I hope you know it's not all about you, it's about a team, and you're gonna work hard. But yeah, that's what I got from that interview. If you got something different from the interview, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to thank Jasmine Coleman and Coach EJ for a great interview. And if you want to see more interviews like this, please go to my channel and look at the other videos I have. And oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day and a good night. Thank you.